Hey, welcome to class. So glad you're here. In this video, I will guide you through a vinyasa flow yoga movement routine, which is great for athletes on your rest day, but you still want to do something active. It's also really great for beginners. You don't need anything for this class today, just your mat, and we will begin in child's pose at the back of the mat, Balasana. Let's do it. Come to the back of your mat, feet together, knees apart. Allow the upper body to rest down. And connect your forehead to the ground. I will keep my head lifted so you can hear me better. Take this time to set your intention, connect to the body, connect to a good rhythm of your own breath. And slowly come forward into a tabletop position, come onto all fours. And we slide the hands a little bit back towards the knees, just a very short wrist warm up, lean forward over the wrists as far as it feels comfortable for you and lean back, forward and back, forward and back. Internally rotate the hands again, forward and back three times. Then externally rotate your hands forward and back three times. Every time you come back, you're also stretching out the feet and the toes. And then the fingertips are pointing towards the knees. Bring the hands more forward, lean back, allow the hands to lift off. Breathe into the forearms, maybe bend one arm, then the other. You can always modify throughout this practice. If something doesn't feel right, then back off a little bit or modify in a way that you might know that feels better. These are all just suggestions. Sit on the heels, shake out the hands, and let's come into our tabletop again. We start to extend the left arm forward, right leg back for spine balancing. Deeply connect to the breath. Allow the breath to guide you deeper into the positions, help you with the movements, with the transitions. Then bend your right knee and with your left hand reach to the right toes, grab the ankle and extend the right leg away from you. Maybe even look over the left shoulder towards the right foot. Slowly release back to spine balancing, left arm forward, right leg back. Now release the left hand down, land the right foot on the inside of the right foot and bring the left foot rotating on the knee out 90 degrees for gate pose or supported side plank. Reach your right arm up. And reach the right arm up and over the head. Breathe deeply into the right side of your upper body, reaching with the right hand over the head and with the right leg away from you, so you're, be, you're becoming nice and long, opening the sides. Let's rise up. The right hand is touching the right leg. Reach the left arm up and over the head. Let's reverse this. And release the left hand down, the left fingertips, in fact, and lift the right leg up. Right arm is reaching up too. We have the tendency often to move the hips back. Try to push the hips forward. Look to the front of the mat. We now rotate on the left knee. So you lift your left foot up. Rotate on the knee. On the left knee, bring the right heel forward to the front of the mat for half splits. Fingertips on the ground. The right toes reaching up towards your head. Deep breath in. Exhale to fold. Any modification here is welcome. You can rotate the right 
foot out and then fold down again and then rotate it in and melt over the right leg always accompanied by deep breaths through the nose let's re-bend the right knee for a low lunge Keep the left toes untucked, reach both arms up and over the head. Draw the belly in, tuck the tailbone, send the hips forward and down. And with the breath, take a deep breath in, reach the arms up and over the head. And then out to the sides, open the front, the collarbones, the chest. On your exhale, you round and reach forward. And we do four more like this. Inhale, open, reach back and out. Exhale, reach forward and close three more arms up and over the head on your exhale hands down straighten both legs pivot your feet to the left for standing straddle forward fold Bring the heels a bit wider apart than the toes, then melt forward and down. Now lift up halfway. With an inhale, exhale, Skandasana to the left. Bend the left knee, straighten the right move to the front of the mat warrior three the left leg floats up hands to the heart or any other variation maybe arms out to the sides like a t lower the left hip a bit more down on your inhale rise up to standing on the right leg the left leg is extending forward Reach the toes forward, hands down by your sides. Now we make a big circle with the left leg out to the left. Slowly back through half moon. And we cross the left thigh behind the right thigh for A-frame pose. Left fingertips down, reach the right arm up. You're on the knife edge of both feet. Your right leg is bent. Your left leg is straight. Now start to straighten the right leg a bit more and breathe into the right outer hip. Now reach your right arm up and over the head to the left, becoming really long, opening the right side body. Replace your left hand with your left foot for chair pose. Bend the knees, reach both arms up. On your exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands down, step the feet back, plank pose. Shift forward, come high onto the toes, bend the arms, chaturanga. Plank, knees down. Elbows down, glide forward and through. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. In down dog, you can always keep the knees bent. Focus on pressing more into the inner hands, moving the chest towards the thighs. And let's now bring the feet wider apart, almost as wide as your mat if you have one. From here we roll through the spine forward, through plank into upward facing dog. 
and then up and back to downward facing dog. The focus here is really on the spine and to try to segment and in detail precisely move the spine. We do three more. Last one. Back to downward facing dog, release the knees down, tabletop, extend the right arm forward, left leg back. Bend your left knee, grab the ankle with your right hand and extend the leg away from you. Release again, right arm forward, left leg back, and the right hand down, left leg down, reach the left arm up. Rotate the right leg out, the right foot out. Reach your left arm up and over the head, forward. At the same time, the left leg is reaching back. On your inhale, rise up. Left hand is touching the left leg. Reach the right arm up and over the head to the left. Release the right fingertips down and lift the left leg up, left arm up as well. Push the hips forward. Lift your left leg a bit higher up. Look to the front of the mat, lift your right foot up, you rotate on the right knee, bring the left heel forward for half splits at the top of the mat. Readjust if you need to, fingertips on the ground, reach the left toes towards your face. Deep breath in to lengthen, exhale to fold. Maybe rotate the foot out, fold down. Rotate the foot in and fold down. And back to center, rebend the left knee, low lunge, reach both arms up when you're ready. Tuck the tailbone under, shift the hips, move the hips forward. And now we move with the breath, five rounds of inhale, arch back, reach the arms up and back, out to the sides. As you exhale, you reach forward, round your back and close the front. Inhale, reach up, out, and open. Exhale, close, reach forward. Three more. Back to low lunge. On your exhale, hands down, pivot your feet to the right, standing straddle forward fold. With your exhale, melt down. The heels are a bit wider apart than the toes. Take a deep breath in, lift up halfway. Skandasana to the right. Up 
from here move to the left foot to the front of the mat for warrior three the right leg floats up hands to the heart palms together or arms out to the sides reach forward through the spine back through the right leg lower the right hip more down On your inhale, rise up to standing on the left foot. The right leg is not touching the ground. Extend the right leg forward, point, reach the toes forward, hands down by your side. Stand tall and make a big circle with the right leg out to the right. Slowly back through half moon and we land in A frame. We bring across the right thigh behind the left thigh, land on the knife edge of both feet, right fingertips down, left arm up. Your right leg is already straight. The left leg should be bent, otherwise you're not far enough out with the right foot. And then start to straighten your left leg. Breathe into the left outer hip. Take a deep breath in, reach your left arm up and over the head towards the ceiling and over to the right. And replace the right hand with the right foot for chair pose. Bend the knees, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold, straighten both legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands down, plank pose. Step the other foot back first. Shift forward, come high onto the toes. Chaturanga, bend the arms. Plank, inhale. Knees down, elbows down. Exhale, glide forward and through upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. Let's set the knees down, sit back onto the heels, round your back, and then tuck the tailbone under, move the hips forward, reach the arm, arms out to the sides, open the front, engage the glutes, and then again bring the arms forward, round your back, close the front, tuck the tailbone under again, like a wave, come forward with the hips, Open the arms, inhale, exhale, close the front, reach the arms forward. Three more, inhale, open, exhale, close. Open, inhale, exhale, close. Last one, inhale to reach out and open. Exhale, close. And come forward and onto the belly. Sphinx pose. Come onto the forearms. The elbows are underneath the shoulders. Open the front, engage the glutes, bring the feet wider apart. If you want to go deeper, press into the palms, straighten the arms. Release back down, all the way to the belly. 
Now slide the right knee forward. So you're roughly at like a 90 degrees angle with the right thigh towards the upper body and the right thigh relative to the shin also at 90 degrees. You can relax the head down if you want to. But we now start to keep the right knee on the ground and you lift the right ankle up as high as you can. From here we lower down and lift for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift the knee up as well. And hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release everything down and extend the right leg back. Now we do the same thing on the left side, which you cannot see so well, but I'm doing it with you. Extend or bend the left knee, bring the left knee forward. And again, check it out so that the thigh is at a 90 degree angle to the upper body and the shin at a 90 degree angle to the thigh. Now we start to lift the left ankle and the left foot up as high as you can and lower. Nine, lift up, lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lift up and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift the knee up also. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. This side is extra hard for me today. Release down, extend back. Big difference for me today, right hip, left hip. Interesting to take in, to notice, and then see what you do with it when you're off the mat again. All right, from here, we press up to plank and move the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now, if there's one more thing you would like to do here, any little sequence or anything, go ahead and do that now. I'll just stay in downward facing dog. But for example, if you want to do another vinyasa, meaning plank, chaturanga, up dog, or something similar, go for it now. And we'll then all meet back in a seated position, sitting on the heels. You can also sit cross-legged if you wish. Whatever feels better for you. Close your eyes for a moment and simply observe the air coming in and out through the nose. Thank yourself at this point for doing the practice, for showing up, for staying until the very end. And with this gratitude, continue to observe the air flowing in and out through the nose. 
just a short one or two minute seated meditation. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Come back to the sensation of the surface you're sitting on. Come back to this body. And bring your hands to the heart, palms touch. Thank you very much for joining me today on the mat. Thank you for practicing with me and for allowing me to share this practice with you today. I hope I see you very soon again on the mat perhaps tonight or tomorrow. Much love and gratitude. Namaste.